Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Today, I've got something new on the table from the folks at Monterey Bay Knives by way of Peter Carey Designs. Peter Carey Designs, excellent folding knives. He's got a real kind of a tactical feel to his stuff. This, of course, is the new Monterey Bay Knives Turbo. Now, unfortunately, at the time of this filming, these are all sold out. But if I know the folks at Monterey Bay Knives, based on how well these sold, you will be seeing more of them. So I thought I would give it a look-see. More importantly, this one is mine. Now, this is not the first Peter Carey design that they released. A while back, they released the VLB, which is very low drag. This knife had, well, the reception was mixed. It is an excellent knife, but uh, it is a very, very specific design. Very Peter Carey in its build. And it's a little thick through the handle. Um, this one happens to be micarta that has been dyed black. I really like this knife. And I like it because of how stabby it is. I mean, it's very, very stabby. But I think they felt like they could do it just a little better. So he asked if he could put something new on the table and they said, sure. Only this time they leaned a little bit into it with their own production aesthetic. And we ended up with the Turbo. And I really, really like this knife. Uh, I didn't know that I was going to. It has an almost fixed blade style blade, as you can see. Um, the VLD was excellently made knife, but presented its own sort of set of challenges based on the thickness of the handle, which of course is designed so you can get a really good grip on it. But as an everyday carry, you know, it had some things. The turbo here has none of those things. This is a superb knife in the pocket. Uh, the M390 blade is exceptionally sharp. It is marked with the Carry Designs logo. And of course, on this side, you get the MBK logo. The M390 is visible, but only just and just right there. So it's not visible when the knife is, you know, open. You can't actually see it through the back, but it's not the high point. This is a liner lock, which I think is just the coolest thing ever. And it is a very nicely done liner lock. The action on this knife is superb. It is very comfortable. It is very pokey. That is the sound of my dog drinking. Thank you, Lola. We were happy, uh, we... Women Carry Knives and I happened to be out in uh, Carmel the other day, and we stopped by uh, you know, Carmel Cutlery, which is sort of Monterey Bay Knives' home base. And he happened to have one of these, and I said, well, I'd love to see it. And he was nice enough to bring it out and show it to me, and the first thing I said is, God damn it. <laughs> because I knew the minute I held this knife that I wanted it. It is so comfortable. The way they've done this pocket clip with the Peter Carey sort of speed holes in it uh, does not create a hot spot. It is, well, just perfect for my hand. It's very comfortable. Everything is milled down beautifully, right? Chamfered. The only sharp edge on this knife is exactly where you want it to be, and it is very slicey. I love the plain tie, although they did make an all blacked out version and a tie, uh, carbon fiber version, I think. Um, this is just a great pocket knife. Let's take a look at what you get. You get uh, three and a quarter of cutting on three and a half inches of M390. The grip area from behind the flipper tab there is just, so what can I call it, 3.8 inches overall. Uh, which, as you can see, even from my wide hands, there's a little tiny bit of knife sticking out, which is just perfect. Uh, the blade is a sort of a drop point with this lovely swedge up here at the top. It has a little bit of a thumb spot right here with some jimping in it. You can get your thumb forward to that, of course. Flipper tab is really low key. And I like that quite a bit. Look at that. And of course, it is also chamfered with just a little bit of jimping. So you can push button it. And you can, of course, light switch it. Either way works. Can I fail it? Nope. <laughs> Let's try again. No. You break the detent and it flies open. For you detent divas out there, 
this is a knife for you. The uh, liner lock is locked up at just about 45%, which means there is plenty of life to be had there. And of course, there is jimping on the liner itself, right there. So you get really easy purchase on it. And of course, as I said, the action on this knife is very, very good. It is a titanium, milled titanium clip. It is two screws, so it's not going to go anywhere. The body screws are not inset into the frame, and that's part of the design. They stick out just a little bit, but nothing that is in the way. The backspacer is almost full length and has marvelous milling on it. It, of course, is titanium as well. This is just a great knife. I missed the drop on these, and I was bummed because I thought I was going to like it. I wasn't sure. You know, not everything. Always right, but um, I did, and uh, man, am I glad I got one. Keep your eyes open for these on a later drop. You will not be disappointed. The overall knife is, what, 7.8 inches? Yep, just a hair shy of a full 8 inches long. The closed profile is very nice. All right, we lined it up there. We're talking about it with the flipper tab an inch and a half, a little over an inch and a quarter. Um... It's just, yeah, I'm tired of saying it's a great knife, because it just is. I really like it because it has a very kind of tactical design to it. And I'm not a tactical knife guy generally, but this really does. This has the blade profile of sort of a fighting fixed blade in a really well-done folder. It's very nice. Let's do some size comparisons. Now, we've done it up against the VLD, which, as you can see, Right, is almost the same dimensions with a very, very different blade on it. Both of these are very Peter Carey. Um, of course, again, the VLD is much fatter through the handle. They have almost the same clip, not quite. The uh, holes are a slightly different size. Very similar pivots. Let's throw up some knives you might be a little more familiar with. Here is the PM2. And as you can see, the... Uh, Turbo is just a little shorter, but as is almost always the case when using the Spydercos, you get more cutting on the Turbo. Here it is against the Para 3. And as you can see, it is, of course, longer than the Para 3. Pardon my arm. Here it is against the full-size Benchmade Grip. These knives are very, very similar in size. Uh, need a little more cutting on the full-size grip. Uh, they actually ride the pocket very similarly as well. I hope that helps some of you. What else do we have? And then finally, our dear friend, the bug out. Oops, why don't we just move everything? That's a good idea. Man. <laughs> All right. Here it is against the bug out. As you can see, it is, of course, larger than the bug out because most things are. I have a few uh, Monterey Bay knives. Um, of course, I have the XLC. Um, I have, as of now, I have the uh, full-size titanium OG, which you guys will be getting a review on down the road. This, which is also a fantastic pocket knife. I have uh, well, just a bunch of their work, and everything they produce is a marvelous combination of interesting, well-designed, and useful. Now, if you're a fan of the OG here, this style of knife, uh, my first thought when I saw the turbo was, well, you know, they gave up some of the drop for cutting. Is it going to be kind of, a, you know, it's going to be slicey? Is it going to be? It is. It's everything you want in a pocket knife with just a particular style to it. Would I like a Peter Carey Custom? Well, yeah. Can I afford one? <laughs> no. So, this is a great compromise. And by compromise, I only mean that it is a compromise in price because the design, the aesthetic, the build, all of them are wonderful. Let's go ahead and weigh it out. Just because that's something we do here. It sounds different, and I think it's because it's hollowed out for the liner lock. It's got a great snap, but on the close, yeah, it's just got a different sound than some of my frame locks, and most of my liner locks. The Monterey Bay Knives Turbo, we don't need grams. Comes in at 5.3 ounces for just a, for an 8-inch knife, 
Full titanium, liner lock, 5.3 ounces is not too bad. You're gonna know it's in your pocket, but it is not a tank. It is weighty enough that you feel like you could put in some good work with it, and I believe that you could. You guys know, of course, that I hard use my knives all the time. No, I really don't. I mean, I open packages and cut boxes and food. But every once in a while, if I'm out doing yard work, they get some fairly aggressive work, and uh, this would do that wonderfully. Let's see how much M390 they give you back here at the thickest point. Three and a half millimeters of M390. Now, because it has this large flat, it is sort of a saber grind. Um, it doesn't come down to a super fine edge. You know, it's not a razor blade, but I'll tell you, it's got a very, very shallow secondary bevel, which my first thought was that means it was going to be a thick cutter, but this thing cuts really well. Let's see if we can find something here. You know, I mean, it's just smooth. It really is a great cutter. I don't usually do these slicey cuts, but this thing inspires it. So there you have it. That is the Monterey Bay Knives Peter Carey Design Turbo. Probably one of my two or three favorite Monterey Bay knives that they have ever come out with. I very much hope that they re-release this knife. Uh, I feel like it was successful enough that they will. Um, you know, always uh, be willing to reach out to Monterey Bay Knives. They are very receptive, very friendly, and very cool. And uh, let them know that you want one if you miss the original drop because the more they know, the more likely they are to make them again, and I think that would be a win for everyone. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been my look at the Monterey Bay Knives Turbo. A fantastic knife from a great designer and a good company. Hope you guys have liked to look at it. We'll see you next time.